compares a mixed bag of pictures between the president and the popes in the last visit. Now, there are two sets of pictures here. You have the actual and you have the ones that the Catholics have made or the supporters and friends have made. In actual fact, the president is taller than the pope. And as you could see from some of these pictures here, in walking, in various pictures, about four or so, you see he's definitely taller. But when they came back now and they're trying to make him dominant because height has a lot to do with dominance i mean the president is the president of the most powerful nation on earth he's the most powerful man the pope is just the president of a little square block and some little um two by four church out there that you know uh, you know about you know confusion and so on and and the president has this big country and some real serious religion in america here and um, on the other hand the pope now when they make their pictures they have him where he's taller but if you look at it carefully, you'll see they have him, his head is higher up. So they're trying to compensate. And even when the president, that picture where they have the president is sitting down at his desk and the Pope is walking around, that also is the next dominant picture in which when you're sitting down and though is the president and he's sitting at, at the, in the Oval Office and at his desk, uh, the Pope walking around, it would show that he's in charge and he's in, in domination the whole picture. And so this is the whole um, scene here. He invites um, heads of state to come up to the Vatican so that he could show that he's more powerful than them. And um, in actual fact, if the president were shorter, it would have been bingo, but the president is taller than him, but they're trying to compensate now by creating pictures and putting him taller than, than the president or standing or in a, in a position of advantage. And so I think that, um, you know, to my viewing, the president has made a successful trip to the Vatican. He hasn't given up sovereignty of the United States of America. And uh, he hasn't put America in danger also wherein uh, sovereignty could be tossed up. In other words, he hasn't, uh, I believe, made any commitment to go to do anything that will cause the economy to collapse, ours and the world. So we have another three years more for peace and safety in the world. And after then, I can't say what will happen. It depends on who comes on. But uh, I am proud of how he conducted himself. Uh, no bowing as far as I could see, and kissing the Pope ring and all that kind of stuff. That is wonderful for the powerful man on earth. And when he went to see the Japanese and he went to see the Saudis and he bowed, people were saying, ah, all this. And, and you have um, Bush and them going up and kneeling to the Pope and others. And, and it's no sweat. 